microcontroller you need some discrete components or the circuits uh, circuit elements to add to the breakboard to realize your complicated electronic circuits so with this module we have been providing this uh, connector that is the AVR connector to connect your programmer to the microcontroller and then we have designed this AVR programmer this is a USB ASP firmware loaded uh, programmer and then we have been providing you this uh, power supply module which convert 12 volt from the adapter to the 5 volt to feed into the microcontroller chip and to connect this uh, modules and realize the circuits you need some cables so we have been providing you this FRC cable and one generalized USB cable so step by step I'm going to show you how we can realize a circuit so in this first example we will be blinking an LED so to blink an LED we have to take in consideration that our LED will be hooked up at the pin number one of the microcontroller so in this pin number one of the microcontroller we will be hooking an LED so connect your resistance across the pin number one and then hook your LED so. okay this is what you have uh, realized your first blinking program and then you need uh, for every electronic circuit we need to have a power supply so we have designed this connector power supply module so plug your power supply module to the breadboard and uh, once you have done with this you can take your adapter and connect it to the module and then click on it so you can see the power LED is blinking so we have successfully got this 5 volt to the microcontroller chip and so we have got this LED blinking you might be thinking that why this LED is blinking because there is already preloaded firmware has been loaded into the chip and that's why this LED is blinking if you are new to the electronics I recommend you to make sure that which pin is a 5 volt and which pin is a ground so you can simply take a reference of your multimeter and make sure that which one is a positive rail and which one is a ground rail so in this case I know which one is ground so I connected this black to the first one and this weight to the second one for VCC and you see in multimeter there is a 4.99 that means a 5 volt what we need to program your microcontroller chip so now we make sure we are we know that we have the 5 volt on your breadboard on our breadboard so we are ready to program this chip so we going to connect this uh, connector to this microcontroller chip so when you're going to connect this connector to this microchip you have to make sure that which pin is going to I mean the which pin from the connector is going to the respected pin of the microcontroller so make sure that the first pin that is called MOSI onto the onto the PCB I'm not sure you can see this um, in the camera but if you are not uh, able to see this uh, naming convention I recommend you to go and see or follow user guide to make sure the circuit connections so hook your connector to the microchip and make sure that the pin number 6 of the microcontroller is the pin number first that is called MOSI so connect it to the microchip and this way you have connected this uh, connector to the microcontroller the next step is to take the FRC cable so take your FRC cable and connect it to this AVR connector okay and then hook it to your programmer so once you have successfully connected this uh, whole um, circuits I mean real after realizing whole circuits uh, you need to connect this uh, programmer to the your host computer so that you can transfer your program I mean your code I mean output of the code applications to the microcontroller chip so connect it to the host computer so once you have connected this to the host computer you see this red LED is blinking that shows that you have successfully powered this PCB and now we have to make sure that this connection of this microcontroller to the host computer has been done and to check this connections we have to erase the chip 
and if in case we have successfully erased this chip that means we have successfully communicated this microcontroller to the host computer so open this extreme burner application and go to erase and hit on erase chip hit on yes and now you can see your chip has been erased and uh, in this uh, breadboard on this breadboard you can see this LED has stopped blinking that means the firmware inside this microcontroller has been completely uh, deleted I mean not deleted but erased okay so next step is to take the firmware I mean go to the file you don't open flash and take your hex file and open it to the flash and once you have opened your flash, hit on right and click on flash and you see that the programming is going on and once you have loaded your program, you see in this uh, breadboard, on this breadboard your LED is blinking with one second.